Today we review Rio, the movie about a nerdy, insecure parent that will make your kids laugh, teenagers moan, parents cry, and grandparents sigh. What could warrant all this emotional expression? Find out right now on Movieology. Movieology is brought to you by American Vision. Movieology has a contest for the month of April. Name all the still frames you see presented in Movieology's opening title sequence in the correct order in an email sent to info at movieology.tv with the subject line April Movieology Contest. The correct entries received between now and April 30th will be entered into a drawing to win a $30 gift certificate to American Vision's online store. American Vision has a plethora of phenomenal worldview resources available at AmericanVision.com. Welcome to Movieology, your friend's show that helps you to engage the spectacular world of film from the bedrock of biblical truth. I am your host, Joseph Darnell. Find Movieology on our website, movieology.tv. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to the show on YouTube, and follow us on Twitter. All of these are free sources of Movieology goodness. And the big news is that we have just started an e-newsletter. Just visit the subscriptions page at movieology.tv to sign up. The Movieology newsletter includes exclusive Movieology content, news, and opinions. And for signing up, you will get a free copy of Gary DeMar's Movies with Worldviews in Mind. This fantastic ebook is loaded with worldview analysis of classic movies. So if you have a taken an interest in classic movie worldviews, you will not want to miss out. Sign up today on the subscriptions page of movieology.tv. Blue is a rare Bacall that thinks he is the last of his kind. When Blue discovers there's another and that she's a she, he leaves the comforts of his cage in a small town of Minnesota and heads to Rio. But it's far from love at first sight between the domesticated flight challenged Blue and the fiercely independent high-flying female Jewel. Unexpectedly thrown together, they embark on the adventure of a lifetime where they learn about friendship, love, courage, and being open to life's many wonders. Rio stars the voice talent of Jesse Eisenberg, Anne Hathaway, and a bunch of other people, and was written and directed by Carlos Sadana. The studio behind Rio says that Rio brings together a menagerie of vivid characters, a heartwarming story, colorful backdrops, energizing Latin and contemporary music, and family-friendly song and dance. This is all true depending on how you look at it. I'm sure children will be enthralled by Rio's funny animals, exotic locales, quirky humans, and epic scale comedic action. Carlos Sadana brings a quality of authenticity to the Brazilian locale that is sorely lacking in many films that depict international spots. Carlos lived in Rio for some time and his passion is animated movies. He's the director behind the Ice Age films. What he demonstrates in the movie Rio is from his heart, a subjective and enchanted interest for his native land. So perhaps his view of Rio de Janeiro is shown a bit rosier than reality. The city in the movie is sublime. A man meets the wild tropical paradise with the conveniences of Holiday Inn nearby. Good people of Rio live a life of fun and fancy worldly freedom. Much of the movie revolves around the spirit of the biggest festive event of the nation, Carnival, a tribute to the historic Saturnalia. Carnival is the most famous holiday in Brazil and has become an event of huge proportions. The country stops completely for almost a week and festivities are intense day and night. The carnival has a historical pagan and Catholic root, but none of this is brought up in the movie. It's just a time to sing, dance, dress up in skimpy and silly costumes, enjoy life, and pointlessly celebrate feeling happy. I thought about dressing up in a costume for this episode like they do in Carnival, and as much as that may have helped the ratings, I don't think it would be quite appropriate. Ever. Anyway, Rio the Movie is a tale that fully expresses the spirit of Carnival. Speaking of the story, our central parrot Blue is on a rigorous journey facing the two uncomfortable issues in his life, that he doesn't have a parrot mate and he doesn't know how to fly. His trusted allies encourage him to treat his struggles hedonistically, urging Blue to tap into his inner feelings. Hedonism is a worldview which asserts pleasure is the only intrinsic good. 
In very simple terms, a hedonist strives to maximize his net pleasure and minimize all types of pain or trial. If and when it feels good, then it must be good. There's virtually no real compass of morality, as characters' ethics are dictated by their pleasure and the evasion of suffering. One watered-down artistic theme is Christ's involvement in our lives. The huge statue called Christ the Redeemer is seen throughout the movie. Christ the Redeemer was named one of the new seven wonders of the world from people that define such things. Our real Redeemer, Jesus Christ, takes us empty vessels and our good-for-nothing attempts of accomplishment and gives us real glory, meaning, and positive influence in our lives and the lives of others through His work in us. Blue's story mirrors this redemption metaphorically, but in a shallow sense that is hard to find underneath the distracting silliness and superficial pleasure the majority of the characters are seeking throughout the film. As for a test to see whether the entertainment resonated with kids, I watched closely the reaction of children that were in the theater showing I attended. Rio might be humorous at times for some, but the audience that I was in hardly made any reaction to the flick, positive or negative. I think I was laughing the hardest of all at the jokes that I got that must have gone right over the kids' heads. Other adults were mostly silent throughout the screening. Rio gets two out of five stars from me. The graphics and animation from the studio are coming close to rivaling Pixar's. But the story's execution is not. It's also worth noting that the two musical numbers may work for some, but I didn't think that they fit in the rest of the film. I love parrots. And I was hoping that Rio would be a film that I would gladly share with my own kids. But I don't think that I will be. I might watch it with them once. It's just that these foolish characters that are supposed to be among the good guys and the not-so-bad bad guys they want you to relate to are not examples of quality storytelling or positive virtues. Remember, most everything is led underneath by the hedonist worldview. Much more could be said about Rio, so if you've seen it, I'd love it if you would leave a thoughtful comment or two. Remember to sign up for our new e-newsletter on the subscriptions page at Movieology.tv. And please do us a favor, share Movieology with your friends and family you like to discuss movies with. I'm Joseph Darnell. Until next time, thank you for watching Movieology. So perhaps his view of Rio Janeiro. Let's do this vaudeville style. What? Rio bings a lot. To outdo Google searches. Yeah. Even a comment that's thoughtful, you know? Tell me what you think. This is a very pathetic little sorry take. Worst take today. Don't we'll show it. Majority of the dance song and dance in this movie was pathetic. Nothing choreographed like Dancing with the Stars. I'm not saying Dancing with the Stars is good.